What's going on YouTube? Chevy Brother checking back in with you. Um, I just popped back on here to show you guys what I just picked up. Um, yeah, I just got a new motor in. Uh, it's the 1512 Kessel. Uh, it's 2650 kV. Uh, <laughs> now, I got one thing for you guys. If you guys can tell me if this is the real deal or is this a knockoff. Now, I'm going to go ahead and unbox this thing, and you guys tell me, is it real, or is it a knockoff? Here we go. We're going to go ahead and crack it open. All right. You guys see the foam. <laughs> I know JM Speck, he, uh, he showed you what to look for in his videos where you could tell the real castle from the, uh, the fake. But yeah, go ahead and check the foam out here. See that? Okay. Well, this is the motor here. Uh, we'll go ahead and pull that on out so you guys can see that. See? It says Castle on there, made in China. All that good stuff. Alright, there's the motor. Okay. Now, the box. That's everything that was in the box. This is the phone. Okay, I'm going to go ahead and take that out. Whoops. That's the phone. That's the top foam. Let's see what else is in the box here. Okay. Nada. I'll show you guys the box. But yeah, that was all that was in the box. Um, okay. Alright. Let you guys have another look at the motor here. Get everything out. Okay. These are the wires. And if you look really closely, see that? Now, anybody who actually paid attention to a counterfeit and a real castle will be able to tell me if this is a knockoff or if this is the real deal just by looking at that. All right. <clears throat> looking more at the motor. Yeah. It's a 1512, 2650 kV. You know looks like a castle kind of handles like a castle but see here's the thing when you turn this that's how you know the difference <laughs> but uh yeah i just want to show you guys my new motor uh i'm gonna show you guys some other things with the c10 hold on one second all right guys i'm back with the c10 uh as you well see she's got a new paint job um I've been doing some body work on the C10 here, and I know in my other video, uh, I showed the body, it looked kind of rough. So uh, basically what I did, um, I took a heat gun, you know, tried to heat the body up some here to knock this dent out. Uh, I kind of did it with a lighter underneath the body, got most of the dent out, you know, heated up some, push it out, and, you know, I got the dent out here. It's still a little rippled. This here was real bad. I got it out. You know, it's not terrible, but I got the dent out the body. Uh, I'll let you guys check out the body here. I'll get this motor out of the way. But yeah, I'll let you guys check out the body more. Uh, it does have a metallic flake paint job. Um, this is not um, RC paint. And I'll say it again. This is not RC car paint. Uh, this is Rust-Oleum again. <laughs> I know the first... Uh, rust oleum paint job i had flaked off but this i did a different process of painting this um i actually scuffed this outside body down uh, i primed it uh, put a real thick coat of primer on there and then the rust oleum uh this is metallic flake paint and i put a really thick coat on that on top of the primer so we're gonna see you know if it actually stand up to you know the rigors of running on an rc car you know the flexing and everything with the body so I'm going to give that a try. Um, yeah, my paint masking wasn't the best, but, you know, like I said, this this whole thing, this bodywork thing is kind of new to me. So that's why I'm trying out different things to see what will work. Um, just trying that. I'm going to go ahead and crack the hood and show you guys what's going on underneath there. Uh, not too much going on underneath the hood. Uh, we still got her torn down to fit, you know, for repairs and stuff. Um yeah, this motor's coming out, different gears, everything else. Uh, guess what's going in here? <laughs> this bad boy here is going to take the place of old blue. 
I know you guys are tired of seeing Old Blue. Old Blue's been in almost every project I've built. And so that's why we went ahead and popped and got a new motor. Uh, we want to go a little faster, throw up some better numbers. Uh, we're going to see what this motor will do. Now, the, the challenge I threw out there was if you could tell me if this is a real castle motor or a knockoff. That's the challenge. So you guys put your, uh, your answers in the comments down here. Let me know. Uh, that's all for now. Rate, comment, subscribe. Give me a thumbs up. And as always, keep RC and keep wrenching. Peace.